Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is the third episode of our first Hour and Worm. Let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and reset our timer, 10 minute video, uh, restart. And we're going to actually change it into a third person view. Some people like that. I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to bring this down so you see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to advanced graphics. I'm going to scroll down to third person. Third, I've never done this, so third person view. Let's save changes. Oh, there's my bald head. Okay, I I don't like this. But, okay, so the last video we created a campfire. Okay, if we examine, so we're going to click on the campfire and we examine it. It's going to tell us that it's going to burn for a long time. Great. Let's go back over here to our newbie guide, our stern-looking man, and receive instructions. Now, he's going to say, in order to keep well-fed, you may... Of course, kill animals or farm crops. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, you're not going to be able to kill anything as a new character. You can farm crops. That's fine. The easiest way to find food is, however, is to look on the grass tiles for it. Go out and forage now. Right click on the green grass tiles. All right. Well, that's not very intuitive for a lot of people. So let's go ahead and run out. So we're going to accept the mission. We're going to run out. This is lawn. You see, if I hover my mouse over, it says lawn, lawn. It, you can't gather anything from there so i'm going to go down this this one all right look at all those mines open and people who are doing okay so this is grass i'm going to i'm going to click on the grass click 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 and you can see over here on my menu or my hot keys i can now examine i can track i can forage i can botanize let's go ahead and forage nothing it's pick clean awesome let's go to this one here Let's click on it, or let's right-click this one, Nature, Forage. Oh, there you go, buddy. What did you get up him? In Ooh, I got a pumpkin. Perfect. I can eat that or smash it or do something. So let's go. He says, I'm, I finished that quest. Let's go back to the, the newbie quest guide giver. And I'm running because my weight is only 22 kilograms and I'm below my 38 so I'm running as fast as I can and I run faster on roads than I do on grass okay I'm gonna right click on him I'm gonna receive instructions and let's see what this guy tells me now this is the bartender around there's a bartender around here somewhere right behind you intuitive go find him and ask for refreshments you will receive free refreshments for the first 24 hours uh, this means that you have good reason to stay close by all right i'm gonna do this i've already done it yes i accept the mission i'm gonna say hey buddy you can look at my my water now is at 87 percent to my foods at 91 i'm gonna right click on you i'm gonna ask for refreshments great and i did now it's at 99 99 50 you look like me. Let's right click on you, receive instructions. A very common way to find resources like clay is to use a shovel and dig. You also need to flatten land in order to build on it. Go out and dig some dirt now. Drop the dirt before return since it's pretty heavy to carry around. All right. Let's go ahead and dig. So this it doesn't tell you that based on your skill, we're going to go out this one. Based on your digging skills, so if I'm over here in my crafting window, I'm going to go down to D for digging. I'm 1.0. The, the ability to dig slopes, or you see if I look at this, you see how the whole map goes down into that valley. Okay, these tile borders, if I examine the tile border, right click examine, it's going to tell me it's eight slopes away from me. Okay, that means if I dropped water here, the water is going to roll away from me down there okay if i look at this one you see how it's kind of going up if i examine this border okay right click examine it says there's 10 slopes towards you so if someone dropped water in that corner right there the water is going to come towards me all right so we need to find a flat one because if i tried to dig here so if i, I want to dig i'm going to activate my shovel by double clicking on it okay and i'm going to go ahead and click on this dirt tile okay in worm you dig corners okay one two three four corners okay there's four corners in worm each corner has dirt on it and i think for this server there's 60 dirt before you get into rock on every single new dirt tile 60 dirt so if i want to dig down to rock i have 60 actions that i must do for each corner 
that's a uh, what is that? 240 actions. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this tile. And I'm gonna try to dig up here. I can I can examine. I can track. I can pack. I can dig or I can flatten. Let's dig. Here we go. And it's gonna go into my inventory. Whoop. Great. Uh, but it's heavy. You see, it's 20 kilograms. Let's go ahead and drop it. So if you right click on it and go down to drop. You can either drop on the ground or you can drop this pile. Now, if I wanted to make this level or increase the height of one side, I can drop it on the ground or drop it. But we're going to go ahead and drop as pile. And it's going to tell me theft warning. That's fine. Someone can steal it if they want to. It's just a piece of dirt. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to the noob, noob guide. So that makes sense. You activate the shovel, you go to your corner that you want to dig, and you just type and you just click the dig command after activating the tile. It makes sense. Okay, here's my newbie guide. I'm gonna right click on him, ask for refreshments, or ask for instructions. With the saw you have, you may create a plank. I want you to try one now. When that is done, all you need is some nails and you can start building the house. Oh, great. So where am I going to find the nails? We'll find out. All right. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to say send. Yep. I received it. So I have my saw and I have my piece of wood. I can activate my saw by double clicking. See, it's activated. It's green. I right click on my log. Create. I can create a yoke, kindling, construction material and shipbuilding material but it says a plank right oh here's a plank in addition if i open the crafting window and i drag the log into one and i drag the saw into the other it brings a whole list now be careful it automatically populates the yoke or the top one as the first item you have to click on plank and create and I, it says the log contains too little material to create a plank that's awesome so we need to go find we need to go find a tree. We need to go find a tree that I can cut down that has more. See that this log only has 1.4 uh, kilograms. That just means there's there's not a lot to the log anymore. And you need to find one that's bigger or has more. Uh, so let's take a look here. Not really much going on around here, but that looks like a big tree that we're going to cut down. So let's go ahead and activate our hatchet. And run to this tree. Who is a TC Gamer's Cottage? Hi, TC Gamer. Let's go down to the fir tree. Go into the fir tree. Go into the fir tree. Okay, I'm at the fir tree. Okay, I'm pretty much at the base of it. I'm going to click on the fir tree tile. So click, 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 click. And I activated my hatchet and I'm going to cut it down. Here we go. Boom. Did one. I did two, and you can go ahead and queue it up by clicking, click, 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 click that, and it'll tell you, boom. So now I failed the tree. Nice. If I was strong enough, I can actually right click on the tree and take it, but I'm not strong. you carrying too much to pick up the failed tree. If you examine it, it will tell you uh, what it is, what the quality is, six. Okay, so if you click on the failed tree, and you have to be really at the, the, the foot of the failed tree at the very end, okay, and you can chop it up to make logs. And that's quick. You can go ahead and click a couple times. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop. Oh, there it goes. So more than, one, uh, more than three items creates a pile. You're going to right-click, open, and go ahead and look at these. Look at these, 24 kilograms per. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these logs. Okay, now I have two logs. When you have two of the same type of material, it creates uh, a different category. So you have to push the plus sign. And now you can look at your different logs. You see I, I have 1.4, but then I have a 24. So let's open the crafting window. Let's drag the 24 kilogram into my inventory. And let's make a plank. I clicked on the plank and create. I failed. Let's do it again. And success. I created a plank and we're about 10 minutes. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for what else the newbie guide has for us.